Hi, and thanks for joining us on Don't Let Grant Stress You Out. We are so privileged today because we have the dynamic duo, that's right, the co-hosts of the podcast, Fundraising Heyday. I get it. I'm biased. Our team, we chose to sponsor them in season two and three because we love the content so much and the, the banter and the dynamics. Amanda, Kimberly, hello, and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us, Diane. We're excited to be here through the magic of Zoom, yes. <laughs> which no one has ever done before, I'm sure. <laughs> People are so used to hearing your voice. This is true. The conversations about y'all mm. and pie. And pie. Just saying some of your known things. I would like to, Kimberly, I hope you have your time warp noise handy. I'd oh, like wait, ready? quick little time warp moment, if we could. <laughs> and of course, Thank we always do the hand motion. The hand, it doesn't no work. Can see us. <laughs> it doesn't work unless you make the magic bead fringe fingers, yeah. even if you're just podcasting. I'm, that's the only thing that works. For sure. I love it. And I'm so glad you could do that for us because I needed us to time warp back to the, the idea. Like, what is it? I want everyone to hear it. Like, what is it that helped launch Fundraising Heyday? What was your story? What was your idea? I won't, um, I want Amanda to tell that story because it was really her idea. I was just there for the onion rings. Yeah, we, we really have um, Ted's Montana Grill to thank. Um, I don't know how many times. Dude, dude, they went out of business. What? No. Oh Closed in downtown Decatur. That historic meeting place for fundraising heyday gone. Clearly, they did not know the significance of that restaurant. Yeah, but anyway, you know, oftentimes true genius is not appreciated in its own time. This is true. Yeah, but that's where Kimberly and I used to meet every once in a blue moon because we had been grant friends forever, and life had gotten crazy, and we were missing each other, and so that was kind of a good meeting point. Um, and so we were meeting for lunch, and we were just kind of both talking about where we were in our career, and um, Kimberly especially was like oh, I just don't know how much longer I've got in me to do fundraising and some of these things. And I was like, yeah, I'm kind of getting on that. We've both been close to hitting that 20 year mark. And we're like, oh, oh, do oh, the rest of our I, life? it's in the rear view mirror. You are so sweet. <laughs> that anyway, bird has flown. Yeah. So we just love spending time together. And so I was like, man, we should, we should collaborate somehow. And so we're trying to figure out like people already do blogs and there's already some great grant writing businesses out there. What could we do that was a little different and fun? There's some really good books out there too. There's some books, yes. Yeah. And Kimberly's already written a book, so that co-authored, co-authored. That was already done. So what can we do that's different? And um, I had actually just started getting into listening to podcasts, and um, thought it was a fun platform. And so I, this was in 2017, right? Ish. Yes. Because we started yeah. it in 2018. Yeah, like, so it would have been yeah, it would have been 2017 that we started talking this idea over, and I was like, "What do you think about a podcast?" And so we started doing our research, and there's a lot of fundraising and nonprofit related ones that are really good. Um, there really weren't a whole lot of grant ones out there. Um, <laughs> try, 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 <laughs> and we're like, "We're funny. <laughs> we can do this." So. Try. We, we kept it a big secret from all of our friends for the first year, and we did did an entire season, got it recorded, got it ready, edited, did everything, not knowing what we we're doing, but we just we just went. Did it did anyway. It. Did it anyway. Which I highly recommend because if we had known, <laughs> it would have taken us five years to get it done and make it perfect. We were just like, yeah, we'll try it. Oh, shout out to Agile for nonprofits and their Scrum and product <laughs> owner. Yes. There, there is a need to also put a framework around things. But in this particular case, it was probably better that we didn't know everything involved. I will yeah. say that. Well, I think we would have been intimidated if you, we had really checked out what other people are doing. Because I mean, there's some podcasts out there that, you know, they upload an episode and have a million downloads in like two hours, right? But those are also like podcasts about murders and stuff, yes. which I have... <laughs> some beef with and I know that's not the purpose of this interview but I'm like someone there was actually someone who who died um so that's it's not a podcast about death unless it's like the death of really twisted grant application forms which I am all in favor of burn that baby down but yeah 
But anyway, so yeah, we just we went for it and did it, and we launched it at the GPA <laughs> conference in uh, in 2018. 2018, and, and we did, uh, and we released all the podcast episodes at once because binge listening. I don't know. Well, so I have a little throwback for you. I may have been sprucing up my office the other day. Throw back, Amanda. Throw mm -hmm. back. Look what I have. All oh, the earbuds. earbuds. Oh. Like, like, let's see if I can hold it like really still so that you can like. You got to do your hand behind it like the fancy influencers do. Oh. Oh. And so then I'm like, oh, all right. Where? That one took me a minute to find because I remember when you like started distributing those at the GPA conference and we were all like, oh my God. We were so excited to have the earbuds for it to launch. And then I love it. I know we had to explain to a few people what it was. <laughs> but 2019 swag. What? Hello, cord wrapper. Didn't, didn't somebody use it as a turkey baster or something? People were confused. I'm like, no, y'all, it's a cord wrap. It's really not that. It's it's a cord wrap to keep those cords nice and tidy. So you Definitely. could like use this on your original. I have like my children will fight over this if we're like getting ready to like pack for a trip. Oh, I, may have, I love it. I have distributed many. I may have kept a few because I didn't want mine to go away. Yes. So I may have four of these, one for every member of the house. I think that's, that's grand. Favorite. So when you think back over the last few years, what's your favorite? Give me like your highlight memory for both of you. Awkward sign. <laughs> Honestly, my favorite thing is, um, you know, oh this God. year, because of COVID, we've been doing everything kind of like this from a distance. Yeah. So Kimberly's at her house. Oh, and we, and we don't even usually see each other, right? Yeah, a lot of times just to make sure that the sound quality is better, yeah. we're not doing videos. Um, so, which is it's still fun. We enjoy doing it. But I think for me, just the favorite is when I get to be in the studio and see Kimberly across from me. Because I love when I'm talking about something. She gets excited, kind of like she does now. She's always like, like, my turn. I want to talk next. So I know I need to wrap it up so she can go. Um, I can't so. tell you what my most favorite one is, but Amanda knows what it is. Yeah. I can't tell you. Sometimes there are things said that don't make the cutting. They, they hit the cutting room floor. We made. You know, I, I made it. up a, a, a little song about something that is completely not suited for this interview, but it mm. was really. It just made a snort laugh, and it was. I think my favorite times were when we were in the studio together, like Amanda said, sitting back and forth, and just. Although we've had some really great guests, I mean. Yes. I, I, Voulet's two-part interview, Edgar Villanueva, and then just talking to, I, I loved learning. I, I was like, I would be like interviewing and then surreptitiously taking okay, notes. notes. Um, gosh, I mean, we did well, Pamela Crow, well, Julia Campbell, Mark Pittman. I mean. Well, and what I love is. Burnout book. Yes. So Diane, you know, a bunch of us read the burnout book and really loved it. And so Kimberly and I are like, we're going to dream big. We're going to ask the Nagowski sisters to be on our podcast. So Kimberly sends an email and it's crickets. And so we're talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Send one more email. Cause what's the worst that they keep ignoring us. So just let's send a second email. So she does. And that day I happened to turn my TV on and it's good morning America. And there's Emily and Amelia on good morning America. And so I immediately you call Kimberly and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh. I don't know that they're going to pay attention to our They could podcast. sort of be out of our league in yes. terms of fame, but... But they came on our show, so we were just over the moon that they were very gracious and willing to chat with us and about all things burnout, and it was just lovely, so... I also, I was so glad to have them do that, and I also have to recognize that it probably also came about because they were unable to travel and promote their book. And so, you know, we hit it just right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then they sang that song, which we probably can't talk about now because copyright Disney, but um, they sang this song and it made us cry. Yeah, I'm not a big crier. It was, was such a good episode. <sighs> Yeah. Again, so Kimberly, when, when I interview people, like she said, we can't norm we don't normally see one another on the interview. And so every now and then Kimberly and I will text each other like, <laughs> right. and that was, I'm like, I'm crying. And she's like, I am I'm crying. crying. Yeah, that was, we couldn't see each other crying. And but it was an, I'm not a pretty crier anyway. I'm not a movie crier. So it wasn't like a good visual moment. <laughs> 
it was touching, it was cry. moving that the yeah. that these these two women who are so accomplished and and so popular and so well versed in their topic just just took it off for an hour. Our usual episodes are 30 to 45 minutes. Although I had a dream long ago that it would probably clock in at 20. And Amanda was finally like, girl, you know that is that's not gonna happen. I'd be like, much. I'm like, this is gonna be 20 today. It's just you and me. It's like 45 minutes later. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, you may have seen Diane. I shared uh, earlier, was it this week or last week, on social media on our Twitter handle, um, which if you want to follow us, it's Funding Heyday on funding Twitter. Heyday. But um, I had a screenshot from where when we record, you can see my mic and Kimberly's. And so if it's flat, that means you're not talking and it's go. going crazy. That there means you're really getting into it. And yeah, Kimberly was on a tear about something and it was just, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. That's why we don't. Have twenty minute shows. <laughs> oh, it's all me. It's all. It's, it's <laughs> I all do it me. too. I do it too. Hundred percent. But yeah, it is actually. It's it's very nice at this stage. Uh, I'll speak for myself at this stage in my career because I own my own business. I'm not as beholden to um, the rigors of 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 employment and relationship my relationships with funders are different now and so I, I in all seriousness another way that amanda and i like to use this as a, is it's a, our platform to not only just get an opinion out there but suggestions solutions um talking to people who are leading change um in the field and also just to speak a little truth to power because sometimes that's not always a thing that grant professionals or fundraisers can do even though there's always that question at the bottom of the application we'd appreciate your feedback i'm like no no you would not <laughs> you're not your money, ready so for no. this throwback <laughs> you're not ready for this jelly of a feedback thing that's getting ready to happen here because yeah because there just there needs to be a lot of change and I think Amanda identifies as a rule follower. I mean, I don't think I know because she said that a lot. And it is important to follow rules and protocols and fundraising and grant writing, but there's also a bigger picture. And that bigger picture is that that there that there is there might be a playing field, but it sure isn't level. And there are some things that we can do if to just lift up um, ideas for change and suggestions that I feel like we can both do now that I didn't feel free to do. 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. I'd agree. Mm. Well, there is so much rich history to listen to in the different episodes. Three seasons worth. I always joke that I can't wait to have to go for a drive somewhere by myself without the children when I'm not playing mommy taxi, when there isn't like uh -huh. the whole team in the car, because that's when I like to catch up. And so... As we're looking forward and I'm thinking about what we get to listen to, our team is honored that you allowed DH Leonard Consulting to come on as the season four sponsor. Yeah, it was a really tough call, Diane. We were really like, I don't know. She's, she's so mean and doesn't know what she's doing. Should we really? Not accomplished at all. <laughs> Me too. So but I've seen just some little sneak peeks of like what might be on the schedule. And so let's just lift the curtain a little. If you want to tell us what are you most excited about for? No, maybe not most. We don't want to make anyone feel bad. We like, love all our episodes. My sponsored episode. I'm just saying. So <laughs> what is something? We'll just go with something. Something you're excited about for that we're going to hear in season four. What do you have planned? Um. There is uh, there there are a couple of writers that we have approached who write fiction, but who also teach writing and are very accomplished in their field, and also happen to live in the Atlanta area because fangirling is an important part of my life. And um, we have already secured an interview with one of them, and I found out uh, through the magic of email. Not only has she agreed to come on the podcast, not only have you met her before, Diane, but she was also a grant reviewer. And she said, what? you know, I think I could offer some tips. Oh, no, she didn't use the word tips, but offer some advice and suggestions around storytelling and the narrative because as a grant reviewer, those were certainly, and I was like, come on, storyteller for a living. And um, she's written um, uh nonfiction at least two oh forgive me two books and then she recently published um, um her first novel 
and she's also a professor of English and she's also been a grant reviewer. So I'm like, there can just be some rich, rich content there. And also she's hilarious and has fantastic shoes. Oh, I know. Who, okay. The more clues that you dripped, I'm like, oh, I know who you mean. I can't <laughs> wait. That's amazing. That's what I'm excited. Um, yeah. Linda, what about you? Well, and I'd say too, there, there are a couple of things that we've done that we've, it seems to have played well to the audience and we like it so much. So there's every season we do this, we've already decided there's a couple of things that will happen every season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so one of my favorites is the rip from the headlines where we share the, the mistakes that others have made usually because they're trying to take advantage of something um, when it comes to grant funds. So of course that will be back. Um, and we just, we wrap season two and three with our top 10 favorite things um, and those are always a favorite to record. So you can rest assured that's going to be back for season four. Um, but Kimberly and I were very, um, I don't want to say strategic, but very thoughtful, I guess, about trying to think about what hasn't been shared, what needs to be out there. What are some of the things, the people we could be introducing you to? And so I'm excited. One of the things we want to start making a regular is bringing you someone who works in the grant field, but in a very specific um, sector of the field. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we want to kind of do that on a regular basis. And so we have um, actually secured a speaker who specifically writes grants for tribal nations and the uniqueness of what that is, both in terms of finding the grants and the serving the people and all those kinds of things. So I'm excited. I plan to learn a lot too. Uh, oh, there'll be some note taking. There'll be some yes, note taking. Absolutely. For sure. So, sure. And I will tell you, we've dreamed big. We've asked some big names. We don't, we haven't secured any yet. And you know, they may not, and we, we always have backup options, and we have a really long list of topics we want to cover, um, but we kind of thought, you know, it's 2021. We're going we're gonna to ask some, some big names, and if they ignore us, so be it, and we'll just move because on. Because we, yeah, we're recording this in December yes. of 2020, and we're just, and we're waiting to hear back from some people. But we're yeah, excited. so some, who knows? We shall see what's on the horizon. I, Diane, I'd like to answer a question you haven't asked yet. Is that okay? <laughs> Sure. I like it when you turn the tables. That's okay. great. Go for Ready? it. <laughs> okay. I don't have a book to hold up. I mean, oh, I am wearing red though. I got a Amanda, book to hold up. Amanda, hold up okay. Book? Just, yeah, because I'm trying to emulate the Diane Leonard. It's my high school yearbook. Oh, wow. Isn't that so, lovely? <laughs> so Amanda and Kimberly, how is, how do you work well together? Ooh, ooh. So Diane, <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> We work well together because we respect each other, but we have very different world experiences and viewpoints to a certain extent. I mean, to a certain extent, I think Amanda yeah. would agree. And I think that's what brings what it brings to the podcast. Um, one of our podcast inspirations in a very different field, but the way they handle it um, um, is a podcast called Pantsuit Politics. Mm -hmm where there's, uh, I would say, a, a Republican and a Democrat, just for the sake of, I mean, I, I know there are all these nuances and labels within labels, but let's just say we got a red and a blue, yeah. and they um, work, it's respect each other, probably just love each other, you know, just really work well together, but they also agree to disagree, and they use sometimes um, humor, and sometimes it's very serious because they were talking about a lot of political things, but that kind of give and take, and they talk about um, giving each other grace. And I think that that's an important thing, even though I love to just talk with Amanda and just talk. Some of, some of my favorite episodes, although I love all the wonderful people that we've met, some of my favorites are just when we're like, let's talk about portals go and it's like <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, we, and we, it comes out but we, and we have outlines but there's something in our in our uh, friendship that grew out of uh being colleagues and it's just matured over the years that uh i think that's what makes the podcast special as a listener i think i'd agree like just listening to the two of you go back and forth there's some real magic there and it's an honor for all of us to hear your thoughts and for you to bring it to the community and so i know our team is super excited for season four we can't wait to see all the things you've got up your sleeves we only know some so i want to thank you for what you've brought to the grant field 
it's not dry. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> we, that's what I try. Well, and to me, our, I think some of the biggest compliments are when people say things like, not only did I learn something, but you made me laugh. Um, I think on, um, on a forum the other day, someone was like, yeah, I was walking through the woods listening to the Giving <laughs> Tuesday episode, and I was literally laughing out loud by myself. Spoiler just... alert, I ranted about something. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's a compliment. And also kind of what you were talking about there, Diane, when someone's like, I feel like you're like sitting right in the car beside me. Like I just have my friend there talking to me about grants. And that's just the biggest compliment. And It's, um, it's, it's a compliment. It's slightly creepy, but I feel it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I would say too, we greatly appreciate Diane, you and your entire team. You guys have done so much to help introduce us. You know, we got to um, interview Pamela Gro and Julia Campbell, thanks to introductions from you. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's we're not afraid to do cold calls and be like, hey, you don't know us, but it's so much better when you've got that mutual friend in common who's like, hey, I want to connect the two of you together. So, um, And that was say- actually over a meal too, wasn't it? We went, we were, Diane was in Atlanta. We went to South City Kitchen. The they were oh, yes, yes, yes. good Southern Eats. Oh, that was delightful. We had fried green tomatoes, didn't we? Of course we did. And listen, it's, it was some fancy Southern food. It was, that was so fancy, good. fancy oh, fish. We'll have to do that yeah. again soon. I'm just saying, yeah. one day, one day. But in the meantime, so people can listen to Fundraising Hate Week. They can follow you on Twitter. Yes. Yep. As you mentioned. But they can listen to, download Podbean's where it comes out, but it's on iTunes, Podbean. Where are all the other places? I it's don't. It's actually Spotify. migrated to Apple Podcasts because iTunes was enfolded gently, like a lovely dough, um, right. egg whites, and 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 they <laughs> folded it into Apple Podcasts and Spotify, as Amanda said, and um, our website fundraisingheyday.com, and of course it's H A Y D A Y because I'm Kimberly. Hayes de Muga and she's Amanda Day. So we know how Hey Day is normally spelled, but we don't care because this is really cool that we like our name. Yeah. And season four is going to be bigger and better than ever. Um, Normally our episodes, our seasons have been about 16 episodes. Um, We've decided to to move it to full year episodes. So uh, season four launches January 7th and we will drop an episode every other Thursday throughout the whole year. So you get us like 24 times in uh, 2021. <laughs> Ready or not. <laughs> Here we go. Those corresponding blog posts where you wax a little more poetic about what yeah. you said. And they can find those at dhleonardconsulting.com and at your website with the links back. So lots of ways to yeah. stay in touch, learn, laugh with the dynamic duo. Amanda, Kimberly, thank you so much. We can't wait to see what season four has in store for us. Thanks, Diane. We're looking forward to it, and we really appreciate your partnership to help us get where we are and move us forward. Yay.